Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Thursday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, daily chart, S&P 500 E-mini futures. And what we saw yesterday was the bears turn it around, follow through. Um, they cracked the middle band and, you know, they pushed. I sent a chart out yesterday saying, you know, well, the bulls need to find a higher low versus 2033.25. And the bears were able to push through, knock out 33.25 and go see the lower band. So, you know, technically we are on a lower band ride, day two of a lower band ride. We're bouncing at the lower band this morning a little bit, which isn't surprising. Uh, but right now we are finding resistance at the 35 area. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, this is a 15-minute chart that I posted uh, to Twitter maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. What you can see here, we've got this little pop off of the retail sales and import prices uh, and jobless claims number. The key is 35. 35 was resistance yesterday afternoon. It's held in the overnight, held again earlier this morning. So I'll be interested to see if this pop off of the economic number stalls out at 2035. You've got the daily pivot that's a little bit higher in the 36 area. Uh, if it can get over that, you've got a triple pivot area at 42, the three day, nine day, and 20 day, and then you've got um, the 4550 to 46 area, which proved to be um, which proved to be resistance. Um, for the majority of the midday yesterday before the drop right in this area. So the bulls need to push over 35 to get to 45. If they do get to 45, I would expect that to be resistance. The bears want to break down below the lower band, which is right now around the 25 area. And they want to get below this 2020 to 2021 floor. That was a floor from back in October, November that hasn't been, they haven't taken it out yet. It's a floor until it, until it isn't. Uh, so an inability to get through 20 to 21, then we start to see a slow grind back up, perhaps a full test of middle band. But the ball really is in the Bears court. It's for them to blow. They broke middle band. Middle band was retested yesterday, and it failed. So the Bears really can't afford to let the Bulls off the hook because we know what that looks like, right? A little few handles here, a few handles here. Dip buyers come in, then they come in again. Then the shorts start to bail over the side, and you end up with a then you end up with a squeeze. Last time we did this, it ran from you know 18 1813 to 1815 to 2079. And if you don't think it can happen again, I'm telling you right now, it can absolutely happen again. So be careful and watch your size and watch your stops. That is an uptrend. Okay, everybody have a fantastic day. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. I'll be putting some more stuff up during the day. Check out the website, PrincetonTrader.com. Come check out the chat room. Uh, it's been a fun week. Uh, uh, nice volatility for December. So uh, if you want to come check us out, we'd love to meet you, see if we can help with your trading. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.